Carro. Hello my Aquarian friends, it's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. Just so you all know, I have a new setup here. Um, I do will be using the other one as well. So I really like this one. The energy feels amazing. So it's nice to have a little bit of a change up here and there. Okay, so this one here is out on a farm and it's comfy and the energy is just and it feels great. <laughs> it feels really great. So anyway. So I will be using both, so just keep in mind that you'll be seeing different setups from me, okay? Now, this will be about the energy for the rest of January, things Spirit wants you to keep in mind, okay? Things that are very important for you to understand and to work towards. So the first one we have is Spirit of Isis. Okay, beautiful color. Beloved initiate, there are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith and inspired action until the impossible happens. Isis has the spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest. No matter how bold or impossible it seems, let her inspire you. Believe. This is about believing in yourself and believing that divine has you. The lunar queen. We just had a full moon lunar eclipse yesterday in cancer i believe there is deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles of rest and replenishment as essential to balance our actions of power and demonstration you are asked to allow this replenishment for yourself now trusting that you are in a cycle of creation that is about to shift into a new phase release and enjoy the process without having too much control or force it so it's about letting the divine do the work and trusting what's coming to you as divinely guided not of Isis. Look at all of this Isis energy, my goodness. Part of your spiritual destiny involves a special relationship with the goddess. This means that not only do you have the important spiritual task of helping her thrive in this world, but you are afforded her power, protection, and abundance too. You are now deepening your connection to the goddess. That's so beautiful. Goddess within. Deepening your connection to feminine energy within you. That's beautiful. Perhaps you've been very much like the King of Swords for a long time, and it's time perhaps to embody more of your heart chakra. All right, what's this about here? Beloved Initiate. So there's some confusion going on, many options. Uh, you're not sure which one to take, but you're going to move forward anyway, and you're going to push this with bold faith. So you're going to have faith. There's going to be new opportunity come your way, possibly an apology even, but something that's going to surprise you. Now, this, this opportunity is going to carry you for the long term here, my friends. This is about very solid offer, something that you can really put your faith into, your work into. Persist with your bold faith and inspired action until the impossible happens. Isis has a spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest, no matter how bold or impossible it seems. This is about for the long haul, something that you're in it in for the long haul that's very much supporting your spiritual growth and supporting where you want to go. And there's um, not sure which way to move here, but I think there's going to be an offer made from your heart chakra, possibly to Virgo Taurus Capricorn. It doesn't have to be love, but it's about helping them grow, which in turn helps yourself grow. Do not give up. It's about not giving up on the beauty that you seek. And man, these cards just never... It never ceases to amaze me. There are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. So do not give up on positive, beautiful things coming your way when you open your heart chakra. Standing in your power is about drawing a line in the sand, perhaps standing up for yourself, protecting that which you've created, not letting people walk all over you, inviting those in that you believe wouldn't do that. Not seeing the positive in this situation, embracing feminine. There's something going on here you're not seeing the positive in. Passionate communication. There is a deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles and rest and replenishment as essential to balance this action of power and demonstration. You are asked to allow this replenishment for yourself now, trusting that you're in a cycle of creation. So there's not much trust in this card, but you will be getting passionate messages now. 
you are sending passionate messages. I think you're giving someone a gift of emotion and compassion and kindness that you are going to get absolute return from. You are asked to allow this replenishment. This, these messages coming to you are going to replenish your soul when you allow something in. But there's so much going on. It's like chaotic times, possibly chaotic times in your feelings, in your emotions. And you're not necessarily sure how to deal with that. You could be an older man who is dealing with change. And that could be very painful. Now, this could also be about not seeing the positive in the situation. Sending messages to a boss, CEO, employer. We have two here now. Uh making a decision, a financial decision, based on uh, financial income or stability, but also not coming across, I would say, as King of Cups energy, because this card's on top of this one. So coming across as King of Cups energy, but truly what's going on behind the scenes is looking for this uh, stability. Could be dealing with, yet again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But definitely stepping into, I believe, stepping into more of your heart space, regardless. Okay. Not devices. Part of your spiritual destiny involves a special relationship with the goddess. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person. This means that not only do you have the important spiritual task of helping her thrive in this world. Interesting. But you are afforded her power, protection, and abundance too. So in helping somebody who could very much be goddess energy, you are going to be afforded massive wealth because of it. Oh yeah, you are. Look at that. The sun card, the happiest card in the deck. Talk about balancing out emotions and crap, I'd say so. And it could have something to do with a Libra. Or justice coming your way, balance in a situation between emotion and justice. What's just and what's emotion? But there is concern about a broken heart. Three of Swords energy here. Great sadness. Oh, I see. So there's something that you're letting happen. And it's going to be an incredibly beautiful, happy outcome. But there's great sadness in you allowing it to happen because there's something that's got to be let go of first. And that's not easy. That is never easy to do. Ever. Queen of Swords. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini woman that needs to be let go of or cutting out the BS. Perhaps there's great sadness because there's an energy that's come and kind of taken over where a different energy used to be and it's really hard at times to release it. Now it's not about release, let's keep that in mind, it's more so about combining the energies. I, I have a feeling that these are two very spiritual energies you're dealing with so I think they both kind of feel good but it still leads to sadness in some sort of way for you. Broken heartedness but yet still a very happy outcome so yeah. <laughs> that's that's hard situation to deal with. When I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. So it's about having faith and trust that the decisions you're making are absolutely divinely guided. Okay? That you can trust the divine will have your back in any circumstance, any situation, every time. All right, my Aquarian friends, let's get some more information here. Storm, yeah, someone's in the eye of the storm, or you feel like you're in the eye of a storm. We'll read that card. Storm. Man, the S's are coming out big time right now. I think a card fell out. A page fell out or something. Yep, it did. Look at that. Yep, it goes right there. Okay, well, where are we at? like that okay we all have to pass through difficult times in our lives this energy when things get tough our vision and understanding can go often become clouded the feeling of being alone in it all and even feeling abandoned by spirit in your darkest hour can be overwhelming but you are not alone at all hold on and hang in there every storm eventually passes this will not last forever this card is here to remind you 
Now this is something someone's been dealing with for quite some time, is what I'm getting. Sorry about that. The card is here to remind you that you really do have the strength and courage to survive anything that comes your way. Spirit is here supporting you in every step you take. Clouds always part and the sun will always, well, will make its way through once again. It is important to remember that whatever you are going through right now is for the highest learning and understanding. This card may come to you if you are having difficulty in your relationship with others. It is vital to remember that underneath anger is hurt. Forgiveness for yourself and others is key to moving forward and healing this. This card also comes if you are experiencing any type of crisis, whether it is in your daily life or within your inner being. Just know that this is happening to enable you to see what is not yet in alignment of your highest good and what no longer serves you. This is your opportunity to make any needs needed changes in your life and to heal some very deep wounds from the past. Just know that you will survive this with your sanity intact. You will be stronger, more understanding, and more compassionate with yourself and others. Have faith in yourself. Faith that you can and will make it through this. Spirit is here to support you as you find your own light at the end of this tunnel. So it's about spirit bringing light to you. And through the storms of life is where we find the greatest lessons. Oops, dropping things here. The card embracing just came out. So I'm going to shuffle, keep shuffling and see if it comes up again. Sorry for all the table shaking. A card from my Aquarian friends embracing the changes that have come your way, huh? That's not easy times sometimes. New beginnings. Well, embracing the new beginnings. Let's read new beginnings. All right. There we go. Radiant sunrise. Beautiful card. The sun is the most profound symbol of life itself large enough to fit one million earths inside it. In ancient cultures, the largest of the rising sun represented hope and the understanding that life brings begins again, fresh and new. Responsible for the climate of weather of the earth, it is a symbol of birth and rebirth. It can also represent resurrection, profound spiritual awakening. It symbolizes the end of darkness and the beginning of light and an initiation of a whole new cycle. This is beautiful. Very beautiful, my friends. The sacred landscape wants you to know your life is expanding in profound and wonder wondrous ways. New experience and ideas are emerging. Vitality and wide open opportunities are at hand. Seize the day. This is a perfect time to begin that new project or give birth to an emerging idea. Timing is everything and the time is now. Anything and everything is possible. Good fortune awaits you. The rising sun is the ultimate symbol of the yang principle, expanding power and activity. You are radiant and luminous. There is a glow within you that can be felt by all. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Let's get a postcard from Spirit and that'll be the end of your reading. We're a chatty bunch over here, dearest you, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, and metaphors and omens. I think someone's having dreams of somebody and communication coming to you through your dreams. In your life on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity. Be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer in your favor. Affirmative, we say. Loving you so much. How beautiful is that? The divine totally has you guys here. Absolutely has you. In the palm of their hand, taking care of everything. I mean, it's not easy. It's hard. It's hard times, right? Learning and growing is never easy. And cultivating a connection with spirit, possibly when you've never had one before, can be even more, more, more tough. I hope this message resonates for you guys. And I'll be talking to you again soon. Blessings.